what's up my little tattletales? Listen, forget about that damn war in Ukraine and the way they ain't letting African refugees across the border. We'll talk about it another time. It's time for some good news. Y'all, guess what? Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet, my favorite couple in the world, have reunited and it feels so good. That's right, baby. One month after posting that heartbreaking but and Jason Momoa style odd message on Instagram talking about how they were going to be forever friends, but they like literally giving each other a chance to grow. Blah, blah, blah. Guess what, baby? They are back. Yo, why do I feel like Jason Momoa stood outside Lisa Bonet's window with a boombox? Of the Miguel's one sure thing, right? Teach you like a lover. Protect you like a friend. Oh, wah, oh, wah. Listen, Jason Momoa told Lisa, you can bet that never got a sweat. That, y'all, let's get into this reunification. Woo, it's good to have some good news out in this world. I'm actually glad they got back together because I'll tell y'all the truth. When Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet split, she took his hotness with them. Yo, he was walking around looking like the sloppy green giant, and I'm not being funny let me show you a picture about what she what he was walking around looking like you know so listen to this right they're literally saying that according to a source close to the couple you know it's jason on speed dial right the game of thrones star moved back game of thrones what about aquaman <laughs> he'll ever want to remember that again in his life he's like who did aquaman you did jason he must have did that when him and lisa were arguing y'all did you ever see aquaman it was one of the first things that i watched that progressively got worse and worse and worse i think the worst thing i've ever seen is the gi joe moment movie but aquaman was even worse anyway right they're saying that the Game of Thrones actor has moved back in with his wife almost two weeks ago, confirming they are very much back together and they decide to work on things rather than throw in the towel because they have so much invested in each other. Now listen, their kids, 14-year-old Lola, damn, time flies. Their daughter is 14 and their son, Nakayo Wolf, 13 also, are obviously thrilled their parents are work- obviously thrilled that their parents are working on the reason, right? that they felt like they needed to end the relationship in the first place. Now get this, this is when I kind of rolled my eyes. Because it said, while the split has been attributed to a busy shooting together for the Hawaii data, Jason, shut up. You fine, but you've only been in three movies in the last 20 years. Shut yourself up, Jason, right? N- differing personalities, but y'all been together for over 16 years, right? And overwhelming parenthood. Okay, the couple's return is now an inspired family, friends, and fans alike. I know that's right. I love them together. Now get this. Lisa, who's 54 years old, mama, you better get it. You better get it. Does not have social media. While the 42-year-old, what? She is 12 years older than him? You better get it, Lisa. That's right. I know that's right. While the 42-year-old Momoa's account has been a radio silence regarding their reunited. Now get this. He did delete his post where he said, we are now consciously uncoupling. So he did delete that post. But get this. It quote, and I think this came just like Jay, from Jason, said, Lisa is and has always been the only woman that Jason has ever loved. Really quick, y'all. I just got to say, this is YouTube, baby. If you like my flow, if you like my con- uh, controversy, <laughs> controversy too, if you like my commentary, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Better yet, subscribe and hit notifications because you know I love following a story. Treat me like Lisa did, Jason, and say, baby, I like you and just hit that button. All right. Anyway, you guys, let's get back to the mess. Everyone is really hoping they can make it work this time around. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Jason Momoa was a fangirl turned stalker turned lover turned uh, uh, tur- stalker turned friend to lover to husband to father. Y'all, he, I knew he wasn't letting Lisa go. And let me tell y'all something. That little purple people eater, Jolly Green Grind that you saw, he literally, when she put him out, I'm assuming she put him out because he went down. He was living in a almost million dollar RV on a friend's property, looking like he wasn't showering, looking like he was drinking all day, just looking at a damn mess. And I was like, yeah, he got to be heartbroken because Jason Momoa, it's hard to hide that face and make it look bad, but he did a good job. Now let's get into these details. 
Now, if you're wondering what what do they have to work through, guess this. Jason, they said Jason Momoa's booming career took a toll on marriage with Lisa Bonet. She has insider, insiders revealed she had no interest in joining him on location. Baby, this woman was married to Lenny Kravis. Yeah, Jason, you cute. But Lisa is like, I'm not chasing you all around the world. Now, get this. They literally said they've gone apart, apart because of different focuses. Um, Lisa... Uh, was enjoying her life in LA with no interest in joining him on location for projects. Let me find out Jason threw a temper tantrum because Lisa wasn't giving him attention. The insider said that the former lovebirds were amazing for years until they no longer were, noting that the split didn't happen overnight. This sounds like Lisa left them. The source says a few years ago, Jason was struggling to find work. Now his career is booming. I wouldn't call Aquaman booming, but okay, I, I get your point, Jason. Let's just go on, right? We'll give him the pretty privilege. And he wants to keep working as much as he can. Now, here's the thing about keep working. I remember him with Amelia Clark. Google pictures of Jason Mil- uh, uh, Momoa and Emil Clark from Game of Thrones. See how buddy-buddy they are. And the kissing on the lips and hugged up and all this stuff. Releasing the cord and giving them daggers. And you let me know, was it work? He's like, baby, 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 listen. I'm filming the Game of Thrones sequel. It's called The Mother of Dragons is in my bed going down. If you know what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> okay, Jason, right? Now get this. Lisa said, I'm chasing after you. I don't chase, I replace. And it seems like Lisa dismissed him. And Jason was like, no, no, no. Now, if you don't know about their love story, Jason actually begged a friend to bring him to a, a some type of gathering where he knew Lisa was going to be there. Lisa walked up to him and said, hi, I'm Lisa. But get this, Jason said that he knew that she was going to be there. And he had literally put dreadlocks in his head. Yes, you heard that right. He put dreadlocks in his Hawaiian silky head in an effort to have something to talk about with Lisa. Like, I got dreadlocks, you got dreadlocks, yo, it's not meant to be. Now, Lisa looked up, right? Because I think Lisa's only like 5'5". Five, five. She looked up and was like, oh, hey, what's your name? Like, aloha, right? And Jason was like, he took his chance. And he literally was like, hey, like, could you mind giving me a ride to my hotel where I'm staying at? And Lisa was like, all right, fine, I'll give you a ride. So along the way, Lisa was like... He was like, why don't we stop someplace and get something to eat? And Lisa was like, yeah, sure, whatever, right? I mean, Jason's cute on the eyes. He seemed harmless, whatever, right? They literally sat there. They both had Guinnesses. They talked, whatever. They hit it off. He actually convinced Lisa. Let him move. Let him crash at her house because she he convinced her that he was staying at a hotel even though his whole thing the whole time was literally to be with Lisa Bonet he said from the time he was younger he would watch the Cosby show he saw all the girls on there and he would point to Lisa and be like I want that one yes I know it's misogynistic but uh, you can be misogynistic when you're Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet they are such a good couple i'm so glad they're working out don't ever anybody tell you stalking doesn't work however if you are kanye west listening to this video stop it right now kim don't want you anymore you need to give that woman that divorce again if you are kanye west stalking works if you are jason momoa and lisa bonet not if you are kanye west and kim kardashian that is just the thing enough about going down memory lane i'm so happy they're back together let me know what you think in the comments do you think this is surprising i don't i was actually surprised they split up but it looks like all his crime begging and pleading work and lisa took him back you know what true love will always prevail especially when you got lisa monet and uh, lisa monet and jason momoa together i'll say one thing she went from lenny kravitz to jason momoa that girl definitely knows how to upgrade 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 i remember my last video when i found out they were divorcing i said who's she gonna get next because i no, oof, she don't mess around when it comes to the looks department. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think. And don't forget tomorrow or actually Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a recap for the Love in Huntsville, a social mania. Let me know what you think. Talk to y'all later. Bye.